<sighs> yeah, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty aggressive, I thought. Um, we were served up a few bad balls, so it was good that the boys were ready and willing to put them away. So the scoring rate went quick, um, which took the game forward really fast. So I'm um, happy with the way we batted. Yeah, there were four, four players that one got 100, probably four that should have. So, and Miraj may have, he had some partners at the end. Five for, five for 50, I think, in the last session, probably the only downer on the day. And the fact that probably Lytton and um, to Sakib could have got hundreds. Yeah, he scored quickly, but not. He didn't hit the ball in the air a lot. He batted. I thought it was the uh, the pick of our batsman today. He's very disciplined. Um, we lost three wickets, and he he held up really well. Put a big partnership together and put us in a really good position at the end of the day. David Banalish scored runs pretty fast, but do you think that the overall total is not that much quite satisfactory because it should be about 400 against the opposition like Ireland. Yep. Do you think that is, uh, they yep. lack some runs? Yep, yep, 100%, that's right. I, I think three batsmen, three other batsmen could have put hundreds on the board, at least two. So Kibben, um, so Kibb and Litton probably should have put the game away. But, you know, the four wickets today makes it look really good. Uh, from the one-day ticket, Bangladesh played very aggressive yep. So what change you made to uh, this kind of effort? I think we've been, we've been building to that for a while now. Um, and, of course, we, we play Ireland, so we're a lot more confident to go aggressively against them. We've got to learn to score big, and that was our challenge against Ireland, to make sure we got runs quickly, especially in the one-day games. Um, we can't afford to make 240, 250 in the World Cup. We need to make 300s and 300 plus, so um, it's a good time. Um, we batted really well. And T20s, we, we've got to do that against the better teams as well. So it was a good challenge for us, and uh, a couple of new players came in who were really aggressive and had really good series. So. Really happy to see that talent coming through. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, again, we were in a little bit of trouble with him at the other end, and um, Mushi generally comes good when the chips are down. He sticks in there and makes sure he gets a score for us and got the score going nicely. Again, he was aggressive when it was required. When the bad ball was there, he put it away, and, but very disciplined around his defence and his leaving game. So I was really happy with Test Cricket, we, we need to have that. Uh, Jamie, with this sort of lineup, you have uh, maybe batting at 7 and then since at the lower order of the team starts on 8 and then you have 3 very, you know, uh, really poor matches uh, last year. Um, because of how they want to play more bowlers in all formats, uh, even in the yep. T20s they have a number of uh, bowlers in the team, how much does that yeah, we've been putting in a lot of work, but it's not, not apart from probably Everdot's looking a lot, you know, improved. We haven't had a lot of Khaled on tour with us in the one-day career, and he's not a white ball player, so he don't do any work with him so much. Um, but Everdot Choriful as well doesn't really, he hasn't been around, he's been a bit injured and stuff, and, and not in the team, so it's hard to put work into them when they're um, in another country and they're here. So. But Everdot, I think, has improved. I mean, his effort today wasn't great, but um, he's been a number 11 for a number of years and now he's not batting at 11, so <laughs> that's a good thing. But they, we need to get better. Tigel needs to be a better player than that um, if we're going to only play seven, seven batsmen, 100%. Uh, Jim, talking about bowlers batting a bit, uh, Askin has improved in his bat. Yep. He's very keen to be seen as an all-rounder. Um, at the moment, he's still a bowler that can bat a bit, um, but he's improved out of sight, and I see that with him. I see that with Everdot. Everdot's a much more capable batsman now, at least holding up an end, and Taskin's someone that can score runs. Um, he works hard on his batting, and the people that you have time with, you can put time into, and they will get better. But he's looking good, and he, normally he would be sitting there at number eight. Okay, last two questions. Uh, you say Shandu was the pick of the batsman, but how, did, how disappointing was that to see 
Yeah, it's a bit frustrating for him, I reckon. The, the bowler changed his tactic, bowled off spin out, well outside off and um, tempted, ten, tempted him into that shot. So he'd be more disappointed than me. But, um, you know, Mushvik played an amazing innings as well. So Sakim and Mushi were outstanding today. Um, Jamie, in the ODI series, Sakim also missed out 100 and today he also missed out 100. Yep. Do you think if this is his natural way of play or he doesn't make himself very cautious or he becomes very, you know, a bit chained when coming into nervous nineties, is this his way of batting or you want to try to mold something in his batting approach when he's nearing these landmarks? Yeah, I guess he, he just kept playing the way he wanted to play. I mean, he played the sweep shot quite well throughout the innings, but um, with that tactic being employed, it was probably the wrong shot. You just you make one mistake when you're batting and you're out. I don't think it's anything to do with getting towards 100. He was only 80 odd, and um, in the one days he was a little bit closer. But I'm sure he'd love 100. But his contribution in the team overall, we're happy with that. Last question. What do you think the role of the first-team batsman going forward? Because there's so many bowlers in the team. What do you think with the minor role? I think Mahidi is a batsman now. He's a batsman, proper all-rounder that bats. He's proven that in one-day cricket, test cricket. Um, the 50 he got today was really well-timed, aggressive, but still working the ones and holding up the end, protecting the bowler at the other end. Um, in one-day cricket, he's, he's seen as one of our key batters as far as his hitting ability. So. As an all-rounder, he's sitting beautifully at number seven, I think. It's what's happening underneath that makes that look a little bit thin. Okay.